Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast with another Destiny Taken King exotic loot guide and today we are going to be looking at the exotic sword. Now in my case I had the solar exotic sword known as the raised lighter in your case you might have the arc one or the void one but all the steps for each sword are the exact same. So the first thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you infuse your legendary sword up to attack rating 280. Once you do that you will have to take it to the crucible and kill 25 guardians with it that's okay you can just use the hilt it will still count and also kill 50 majors now that's what the first step I'm not showing you guys that step because it's pretty self-explanatory the next one is actually the one that I'm doing right here on the screen in front of you where you actually have to go to the asylum right here with this big ass jar thing in the middle and there's gonna be three knights alright the warden knights what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get them all really really weak and you have to kill all three of them using one super so as a hunter I switched over to the gunslinger got them all very weak and shot one of my gunshots into each one of them if you're a warlock you can use your storm collar that's pretty effective if you're titan use your hammer of soul and uh, they're pretty weak. They're yellow bar enemies with shields, but they're pretty weak for yellow bar enemies. So after you do that, what's going to happen is this big ass door in this room is going to open as you see right here in front of you on the screen. And you're going to go through this area. This is pretty much the same area uh, as the Sunless Cell Nightfall Strike. You keep going through here. You're going to get into a big room. And there's actually going to be a specific enemy that you haven't seen there before. He's going to be a black knight. And he's going to have a shield around him. He's going to be carrying a sword with him. And he's going to have a shield around around him. Make sure you kill all these ads first. Make sure you kill the cursed thrall and the wizards and all those annoying motherfuckers. And then he's going to come out and to get his shield down to absolutely nothing. You're going to have to beat him with the sword. Obviously, that's the whole point of this quest. You got to use the sword, man. You just got to do it. So, Use the sword to get his shield down. It's only going to take two or three slices. His shield's very weak. And then just kill him with regular guns. You can use regular weapons to damage him. It's going to be quite all flippity right. So there he is. He's chilling in the back right corner. After you kill him all or most of the adds, uh, it's going to be pretty easy to take him on. He's pretty slow. He doesn't do that much damage. You can 1v1 him. You're going to see me actually tether him and then go in for the kill with the sword as well. So take the sword down. That's about three hits, two to three hits. And then go ahead and kill him and you're going to be good to go after you do that you're gonna come back to um, that one guy Lord Shaq's blade of day you're gonna come back to him and he's actually gonna tell you all right homie you've done your steps now just wait till arms day just wait till Wednesday next Wednesday and I'll get you the materials you need to complete it so after you do that after you collect it you get this uh, quest right here that you see on your screen. So you're gonna accept it and you're actually gonna go back into the same place But this time by actually doing the strike itself now when you look at it on the planet okay. on uh, I think it's the dreadnought it is on the dreadnought when you go to the sunless cell strike Next to it There's gonna be another version of it and you're gonna go ahead and queue up that version now You can find it with another fire team. So don't worry. You're not gonna go in there alone You're definitely gonna match up with other people and then when you get to the boss fight right here, there's going to be other extra mini bosses as you saw right there. The one I'm looking at right now, that, not him, but the other guy, the knight who's going to be shooting. There's going to be three knights who are also wardens. They all have their own shields. Each one has their own shields. Pay attention to the quest when you accept it because you have to kill a specific knight. Each one of them have their own names. They all have their own shields. So you're going to have to kill your own specific knight depending on what kind of sword you have. For the solar sword, it's going to be, sorry about that, for the solar sword, it's going going to be the last knight that spawns is going to be the one who has the solar shield on him and his name starts with a I forget his name there's another one who starts with like a thornuck and then I think the a second one starts with H so it just depends which sword you are getting the exotic for and the thing you have to do is you have to kill that warden knight and the final boss within 30 seconds of each other which is why you see us not kill that warden over there yet so once we kill the warden the warden dies to the side thanks to the help of these guys um, Aaron and Hellstorm they really really helped me with this name uh, Ender rather not Aaron big shout out to them you're gonna kill him and within 30 seconds and you will complete it and that is the last thing you need to do come back to Lord Shax and he is going to get you the exotic sword depending on whatever ability you had or whatever um, whether it was solar, arc, or void, whatever element. Now, each sword has their own special thing. For the raised ladder, you have the R2 
ability which creates an uppercut that does a lot of damage about two times more damage than a regular strike and it also stuns so you have sword strike solar forge guard and of course you can infuse it i don't know why it's already at 310 tempered light scabbard which is awesome thrive by the sword kills with this energy generate more super energy i like the first option better phoenix uppercut this is the one that's super special and then everything else just increase the other stats now the difference between this sword and the legendary one is that it has a little bit more impact and of course it could fucking uppercut motherfuckers i mean come on how 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 is that not awesome you can uppercut it you're gonna see that right here i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay about two minutes of it actually because it's that awesome it takes one slice to kill regular white bar enemies it takes two slices to kill bigger ones like knights and captains it takes one uppercut to kill a yellow one a yellow captain it takes one uppercut and he had shields on and now understand guys that these guys are level 41 i'm doing the heroic mission they're level 41 not even 40 41 and it's still doing massive amounts of damage it's an amazing amazing weapon definitely freaking worth it does a massive amount of damage definitely would use it but of course you have the expense of getting close to them so if you're a badass hunter you can just shade step out of the way of their shots juke them like your your Danian Tomlinson that that was the guy I rooted for when I used to watch football a lot yeah yeah like him and just fuck people up now, if you have the lightning sword, your special is going to be, when you hit R2, you're going to shoot out a disc of lightning that actually tracks nearby enemies. So it is a projectile. That one's pretty cool. And the void sword actually does an area of effect attack where you spin around with the sword and hit everything in a circle around you. So they all have different things. Depending on whatever sword you got, that's the exotic version you're going to get. You don't get a pick and choose like if you got a legendary solar one. You don't get to choose an exotic arc one, for example. You're stuck down that road. So that's why it's good to get a sword on all three characters that you can potentially have and get one of each kind. So you can collect all them all, just like Pokemon. And you can actually switch it and transfer it between your characters, so don't worry, your sword is not locked into place. There you see, I uppercut him once! I was blind, but I uppercut him once and he's done! He had a shield, he had everything, so pretty, pretty amazing. Amazing. And if you guys don't know how to get the legendary sword, which you do need to get this exotic bounty, then make sure you guys check out my other video. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys don't know how to get the legendary sword. You probably do by now. You've probably seen some people running around with them, but if you're that rare case where you don't, you can go ahead and check out that video before you uh, check this video. I should probably have said that in the, in the beginning. I'm, I'm not, I'm sorry, okay, I'll, I got caught up in the moment, okay, I was killing them, it was awesome, it was fun, they can't stop me, they can't touch this, na 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 there we go, so, all I gotta say guys, is this is an amazing exotic, definitely get it, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please drop a like, come subscribe, all that good good stuff, and as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day, I'll see you.